we just finished a year-long uh, research um, project looking at how blockchain applies to supply management. How does blockchain impact purchasing and procurement? And uh, it's been a really interesting study. Uh, the researchers were myself, I'm a professor of logistics and supply chain management here at Arizona State University. Todd Taylor, who's a professor of practice here. Raimundo Beristain Barajas, who is a business analyst at a new blockchain company, Sweetbridge. And Dr. Thomas Choi, who is the Fearon Chair here at ASU and the director of CAPS Research. Blockchain is a set of uh, technologies that have been combined together. The technologies aren't necessarily new, but they're combined in a way that really facilitates some interesting things for businesses. So one of the key elements is distributed computing and distributed ledgers, where uh, basically you have a set of identical um, ledgers, it's almost like a spreadsheet you can think of, on a bunch of different servers. Now, it could be they're all on one server, but they're split into vir vir virtual servers. But you, you have all of these ledgers are updated at the same time. Consensus validation, where everybody that's in the blockchain agrees on what information is going to be updated. So there's a consensus among all the members and cryptographic security. You've got smart contract code and chain code for workflow automation. So these are like uh, rules built into the blockchain that execute based on uh, agreed upon relationships. And then digital currency or tokens that move through the, um, uh, through the blockchain. Uh, the state of technology right now, we mostly hear about public blockchains uh, like Bitcoin, uh, some of those. And what we're going to mostly think about in supply management are private blockchains where they're, they're not just open to the public, whoever wants to mine a Bitcoin, but rather their permissions, they incorporate privacy and confidentiality measures and you've got channels or side chain functionality um, uh, where you can actually execute these in a, in a business uh, setting. Well, how are, is blockchain going to be applied in supply management? These are all areas that we talk about in the new report. You know, blockchain really helps you realize the dream of many supply management professionals where you're thinking, I wish everybody was working off of the same information.